kids get to enjoy a simple game of kickball over at the Maverick Boys and Girls Club. It's a safe place for many of them to go for after school and summer programs. While they are enjoying themselves now, they wouldn't be here if it weren't for fundings from the United Way. Without the United Way funding, we wouldn't be able to provide our after school programming at this point. We have about 175 kids that come every day after school. We pick up from 21 different schools. United Way of Amarillo and Canyon set a goal of raising $6 million. And according to their Community Impact Vice President, Johnny Mize, they met that goal. They have allocated $2.9 million to different organizations, like the Boys and Girls Club. They say that after-school programs were at the top of their list for initiatives they would fund. We have volunteers run that essentially goes in and, and uh, tours programs and evaluates programs to ensure that uh, the, the money is spent in the most strategic way and the most uh, effective and efficient way possible to meet those needs. And after all was said and done, the Maverick Boys and Girls Club was given $160,000 to help. Well, it feels terrific. I mean, obviously, you know, we all want to make sure that we're, in a way, we're making a difference in the world, right? And so as, as we look across what United Way is doing and, and collaborating with these other entities uh, like, like uh, Kimber and, and the Boys and Girls Club, as well as with ARAD, uh, we really think we are making a difference. The Maverick Boys and Girls Club has received funding from United Way for over 30 years. And without that funding, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to be open. So we appreciate everything that the United Way does for us. Chanel Douglas, Pro News 7.